Hi everyone, it's Gail. And normally it's Forgotten Friends Friday, but I have something special today. So Joey Cardmaker has his Yuletide cheer kit um, ready to go. We're actually sort of collaborating on timing here and I'm gonna show the kit and Joey's gonna have it up on his Etsy and um, and then the freebies on Ko-Fi, Ko-Fi, however you say it. Anyway, very excited. This is so gorgeous, you guys. We'll get to it in just a sec. Let's say hi and hugs to Pam, Trina, Donna, and Teresa. Thank you for watching and thank you for your kind comments. I am going to... First, we're going to flip through this. This is the cover I'm going to use. I'm going to use this slow stitch cover. I don't have a video on that, on this, even though I'm doing a start to finish with this journal. Um, because the slow stitching of the cover, it took me like three months. Yeah, so anyway, there's no video on that. But plenty of videos on using the, um, using the, the, uh, envelope, the 9 by 12 envelope. 9 by 12 envelope is the base underneath of this. So, so yeah. Okay, guys. Let's take a look, see, shall we? Oh, it's so pretty. Let me see if I can, I'm going to just try and get you down in here so you can see what, so you can see what I see. Okay. <coughs> So, there it is. Isn't it beautiful? And then there is there is a background page. And it's beautiful holly. Look at these images, would ya? Oh, Santa, you're so beautiful. I mean, I just... It takes a minute to take it all in. It's so pretty. So Victorian time period, kind of, which I was tickled about because on my cover, I've got some Victorian um, fabric on there. So, and again, the, um, the pages, you know, coordinate as Joey always does. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just, I absolutely love these, Joey. You, you just keep outdoing yourself. I don't know how you do it. I honestly don't, but just so pretty. Love these poinsettias. Mm. What fun. Um, around the table for Christmas dinner. I love that. I think I have these a little out of order. I think like these, I think those two go together. And then this one is kind of on its own because I think that's going to be my middle. I have all the fussy cutting to do yet. Um, but I thought we'd get started with making some of the ephemera and, and, and that kind of thing we could do today. So look at that face. Oh my goodness. And that face. So I'll show you the pages and then I'm going to show you my boo-boo. Oh, love Santa there. The pockets and a little journaling card. Sweet girl, so pretty. Okay. And then pockets and journal cards and tags. So my printer decided it doesn't like cardstock. So what I had to do was um, print everything. I printed everything on my Red River matte photo paper from, um, 
the 26 pound map photo paper from Red River Paper Company available on my website, gailagustinelli.com. Anyway, um, I would have preferred to have the tags and stuff on. That's why I've got some work to do to get this, get these going. So a little more than I normally would because of my printer. So these are the toppers. Yeah. Love those. And again. So I'm not going to have a topper on my slow stitch, but I might have to do another one. <laughs> I have to do two of these. Isn't that so pretty? So that is the kit. Let's look at the freebies on Kofi. Oh, which reminds me, I need to do my page ideas with these, right? Okay. So the collage papers, really, take a minute and just drink that in. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it so much. And then the collage papers, these are just so pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Yeah, and I love this blue one too. So neat. And then he's got um, December Daily Squares. So I think I'm going to make this one into a December daily. That's my plan. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you <laughs> what my printer did. So um, after the paper got stuck, I, pr I printed these thinking, well, it's unstuck. It should be fine. Well, not really. <laughs> so let me show you just... So this is the good copy and look, it just, it kind of made lines all through it. However, I kind of like it. Can you tell on the, I don't know if you can tell very well, maybe in the dark areas you can kind of tell, but if I put those two side by side, you can see the difference. This is a little more dull. This is brighter, but I'm, I'm still going to use some of those by golly. I sure am. Okay, let's back back out if I can. Whoa, that's the wrong way, Gail. Right about there I'll do. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do some play with these. Um, you know, I could I could do my pages, my page ideas, which I have none of because I haven't thought about it. Or I could work on these. Hmm. Let, I can't decide what I want to do. Okay, let's do this. This isn't as super exciting, but needs to be done because of my printing situation. So, for instance, these. I need, I need to back them. I need to reinforce them. So I'm just going to grab some coffee dyed paper. Or cardstock, I mean. Coffee dyed cardstock. And I'm just going to put these on there. Um, I'm going to have a little cutting to do in this video. Sorry about that. I try to get all my fussy cutting done ahead of time. But I wanted to show you these, you know, together as, as a page. So what I think I'm going to do is just cut these to the edge kind of here so that I can maximize my um, coffee dyed cardstock. But I'm not cutting them out, cutting them out, because then I'd have to cut them out twice, if you know what I mean, because I love these with the head 
head and shoulders on the tag and the body on the pocket. I think they're so cute. Oh, except I'm not going to want... Actually, I think I'm just going to want the tags backed. I don't really think I'm going to want to have the pocket backed because it's going to be strong enough as is and I feel like on the on the edges that's just I don't know what do I think do I want to or not I am not decisive today can you tell oh and by the way my friend Emily is here cleaning so if you hear something that's that's what it is so i don't know how exciting this video is going to be but it's it's just going to be preparing some some of the ephemera um the tags too probably let's let's go ahead and do this let's just do it and then i'll i'll score the i'll score the flaps how about that i was thinking maybe i could just put coffee dyed on the inner part but that's too fiddly okay so let's just do this I am I think I'm going to use art glitter glue rather than my glue stick just so that it's not um, you know so that it's not uh, what do I want to say bendy you know, I don't want it to be curling up on me is what I'm trying to spit out and having a lot of trouble doing it. <laughs> okay, just going to get these down here. Okay, and our little people. Gosh, I'm so cold. My hands are frozen. I, I might need to get my heater heater out. I had it under my table for summer, but it's getting a little chilly. Mike had Emily's son came. Our friend Emily that cleans our house. Her son came and cut back all of our Russian sage and grasses so Mike and I didn't have to do it. Oh my gosh, glorious. It hurts my left knee. My left knee was the knee that was towards the ground when I used to play softball and I'd slide. <laughs> my left knee was the one that took all the brunt. I mean, I've sprained it and everything else playing softball, so paying for it now a little bit, but um, cutting the grasses is one thing that just has killed it because you're kind of in a bent position, but not all the way, you know, squatted down. You're just kind of bent. And so it's like all, all of my weight is on my knee. Doesn't like it. It says no thank you to that. Okay. So let's just actually, well, I'm like I said, I'm indecisive today. I can't can't seem to make a decision. But I I try to cut so that I leave the biggest amount of um so I leave the biggest amount of plain coffee dyed left, if if that makes sense. Because these will get made into fun little pieces to be rubber stamped on for collage. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, we need to, you know, I wonder if I use this on the corners. Will that work? Let's try it on this corner and see. Yes, very nice. Okay, great. That's how we're going to do those. So.
So, yeah, so Emily's here today, and then tomorrow I am headed to Missoula to watch my granddaughter Marin play volleyball. So I'm going to spend the night, and then I'm going to get up at a decent time and get on, back on the road home because I have a lunch with girlfriends. All my crafty friends are getting together for lunch. So that'll be super fun. At one of my favorite restaurants. They have the best nachos there. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. So we're going to need a bucket for our ephemera, aren't we? I think I'm going to probably distress this too and just have it all ready to go into the journal. Ooh, I must be getting full. It kind of was, it was protesting a little bit. Yeah, so a little fussy cutting amongst you and I today. Usually I do this while I'm watching TV, which I will do the rest by the time we do another video. I'll probably, probably get most of it cut out this afternoon because I'm excited. So yeah, we're going to have a few more of the start to finish videos. We are, we are. This didn't quite, didn't quite go up to the edge, did I? Okay, so now I'm wondering, will this clip out that? Oh, close. So close, but no cigar. That's all right. I'll cut it. Yeah, and then we'll have these little things ready to go on a page, won't we? My thought is, and we'll implement this in the next video of this series because um, we'll be doing the um, the signature and everything. Um, my thought is, what if I just put one of the um, one of the numbers on each of the of the background pages of the kit. I think that might work well. Um, I think there'll be enough of them and everything, so. Okie dokie. Get rid of our scrappage here. Okay. So, first things first, let's Let's score these pockets. You see me do this on the on the Christmas folk journal too. I think I did this on camera. It's just an easier way to get them to fold. I'm going to, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to grab a bin. So we've got a bin for stuff that's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, it, it feels nice to be able to look out at the yard and have those bushes all tidied up and ready for winter. And the grasses. He's a hard worker, Emily's son. He's just such a sweetheart, too. Mike said, I'm going to tell your mom how great you are. And he says, I already know. I, she already knows. <laughs> He's like, she already knows how great I am. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Gotta love some confidence. <laughs> okay. 
So now I'm going to just fold those bad boys and really smush them down. Because then if they're folded, we can distress the edges of the pockets without it. Even though Joey kind of puts a nice distressed edge on the actual graphic, I, you know, I never can get it cut right to it. So a little vintage photo on the edge just sort of makes sure. How cute are these? Okay, I've got an idea for that one. It's just coming to my brain. Okay, let's let's do this though. Yep, it just takes that little white edge off, and then then it's it's really good. Just really need to do the top part of these. Oh, I could do it on her too. Okay, we'll see how my idea works out. Once we get these, devil's in the details, isn't it? Just making sure that everything looks well put together. And this side could use some, just to make it a little more put to get pulled together. So he goes into this pocket. Oh my goodness gracious, he's so cute. Okay, little girl. Let's do you too. <clears throat> yeah, I said to Mike, I said, what are we going to do if... Emily and her family ever move away or something <laughs> because, because not only did her son come and help Mike with the outside while I was in Colorado, her husband came, helped Mike replace a light in our dining room and fix our gutter and fix our fence. I mean, they're just... They're the best. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This is the idea that I had. See their cute little buttons? What if we put a little, either, we could put stickles, but I was wondering about, I was wondering about some um, liquid pearls. Don't have any gold. What is this color? Rose gold. That could work. Hmm. Let's see. If it doesn't look good, we can always wipe it off. Ooh. This one is a little... There we go. Had a little, little water up front. Okay, let's just make... Little dimension, little extra texture there. Now I'm just going to whack it on the side of my table and that will make the little point go away. Let's do hers too. Okay. Just a fun little add-on. Okay, I'm also, because I'm going to need to let them, let them sit and dry, I'm looking at his little tassel here, and I think I just want some 
want some glitter on it. Okay. Okay, you two cuties. I'm going to set them aside. Hopefully you can kind of see how that made their buttons kind of stand out. And his little tassel now has shinies. Okay. Yay, we got a couple of things, couple of things done, didn't we? Okay, now let's see what else. I know I want the tags to be, so these will, will likely just be folded in half and glued. So, I mean, we could do those as well, but let's these this needs to be let's separate them okay that needs to be this needs to be on cardstock the tags definitely not this one it's got an envelope this one has tags this one has journal cards and i don't know yet with these their cover topper i mean their toppers for your journal but also, they could be big journaling cards, like behind a belly band or something, which is probably what I'll do with them. So let's just put them in the card stock pile to begin with. Okay. So then the rest of those, I think, can stay as they are. All right. Let's do this, this thing of tags. And again, what I'm going to do is just cut on the outside of the, the whole the whole batch, and then we'll just go glue down the whole kind of the whole thing at once. Yeah, I was disappointed that my printer decided it didn't like cardstock. That was kind of a bummer. But, yeah, it was, it was not a happy camper. It was not wanting to print after that. That's why I got all, I mean, I just, once I un, undid, you know, fished out this stuck piece of cardstock, I thought, well, okay, I'll just do it on paper. So I let the whole thing go to the printer and it came out with those little stripes and stuff on it. So then I cleaned the printer heads. And then I just did a couple of pieces to see how it would do. And it was fine then. Okay, so that can all off of there. And then let's grab a piece of coffee dyed here and I can put this right down in the corner that way like so and then we've got these strips that could be used for something else okay oh, part of me really wants to just use glue sticks so I might give this one a whirl I can always put these under my mat while we're working to dry flat so I think what I'll do is yeah I think I'm just gonna do them with the glue stick granted it's a lot of glue stick but then if any of the edges need a little bit of our glitter glue, we can do that. Okay. Yeah, so if we go there, we'll just kind of put the corner down. Make sure I'm all on the card stock and then there we go. My sleeves are in the way, kind of, but I'm so cold I don't want to push them up. 
Okay, so now we can save these two strips for using in the stamped collage, which I want to kind of want to work on that a little bit. I was thinking about taking it in the car if Mike were to come tomorrow to Marin's game, but he's still not up to up to that. So <clears throat> there we go. So anyways, I'm kind of carrying the ball and the grandkids support area. <laughs> yep. But he was able to go out and help Emily's son a little bit and stuff with the trimming of the bushes. So that was great. Thanks to everybody for your prayers and nice thoughts and everything for my cute guy. It's all good. You know, you just have to roll with the punches in life. You do. And... You know, things could always be worse. So I'm grateful we're where we are. Oh, these people on these takes are so cute, Joey. I know Joey's been working on this kit for a long time. So... Yeah, he he definitely doesn't just whip things together. He really puts the time and effort in. So, this this video airs at, you know, at midnight. So, we've coordinated time-wise and Joey's going to have the kit up in his Etsy when you guys see this. And on the Kofi for the collage papers and the d dates and stuff. Oh, I just love these. Yeah, just a relaxing little cutting video really is what this is turning out to be, isn't it? But hopefully, especially for new people, there might be a hint like maybe they hadn't thought about gluing all the tags at once or whatever, you know. There's always stuff to learn from each other, isn't there? I mean, heaven knows I'm still learning. Okay. The tags are glued. So I'm going to stick those under my mat here. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look. There's stuff under there already. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Get rid of some crumbs here. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I've got a couple of, couple of journal cards there. Those need to go in the to-do box. Okay. What else should we do? Those aren't going to take a lot of cutting. This one, um, the only thing I want to back are these three journal cards. So we're just going to cut them out. Um, the envelopes are better just on, on the light paper. So... Generally, I will always print any, if there's an envelope on the page, then I'm going to print it on regular paper and I can, like these, I can back and they'll be good and sturdy and fine. They're going to need to live under my mat too, I bet. Because I think I'll just do... 
just do the gluing and the popping on to a piece of cardstock. I like that side better. Okay. So here we go with this one. And then I might see what else I have that I want to put on the cardstock and if it's going to fit along with this, put it on. Okay, so we'll just pop that in the corner. Okay. All right, let's see if there's something else I can put on here that would... Got these, got these tags too. So let's cut them out. Um, Boy, I tell you, our squirrels in our yard are busy preparing. Um, we're supposed to have a storm tomorrow. Um, of course, when I want to drive to <laughs> drive to Missoula, but uh, yeah, um, especially in the mountains, I do have to go over a pass to get there. But I got my snow tires on just yesterday, and so. So that's happy. I was thinking about these tea cards, whether or not I want those on a piece of, I could put, I could put them on one by one on some of those big pieces, but you know, some of those I might use as labels rather than tea cards. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure if I would need them on the card stock or not. I'm hoping I can fit all these tags on here too. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those can go there. These can go alongside here. And we still have a good size piece. Okay, let's do it. Put this on. Yeah, I am glad that I um, schedule my videos to go at midnight on the day, you know, the day that they're running. Because so many of you have said you... either watch my video while you can't sleep or you go to sleep by my video <laughs> or or something so you know I'm glad that I switched that I used to put them on at eight o'clock my time um you know thinking oh people could have their morning coffee but then on the east coast that would have been 10 o'clock so that's when I started. I changed it up and okay, cool. So we've got that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Let's cut this way. You could use your cutter too. I just like the fussy cut. I'm even though I'm not super precise with it, I'm more precise than I am with the cutter. <laughs> so. Okay, I've got that piece left over. 
And it used to be that I would have kept a little strip of coffee dyed paper this size. And you could, and you could stamp on it. Maybe I will, but sometimes I just toss them, to be honest. It's just like, at some point, don't you feel like, oh my gosh, can I keep another thing, you know? Although we did get our 2025 uh, Medicare book. And at first, Mike said, oh, I want to keep it for reference. And I said, okay, well, I'll just wait and get it when, you know, when you're done with it. To collage in. And Mike's like, what do you do with it? <laughs> I'm like, I make, it's a base to put pretty papers on and then cut them up into cards and tags and things. It's like, oh. But then he decided, nah, he didn't want to keep it. So I'm like, okay, well, it's in my craft room. I think I'm working on 2023s <laughs> right now. So if you happen to need it, it'll just be in my craft room waiting to be repurposed. Okay, let's put these guys under the mat. Then flat. Kind of sitting on the other tags, and I didn't want them to. See, I'll put my elbow on there, and that'll straighten them out. But this will be great to have all this ephemera essentially ready to go. And yeah. Oh, I got those real close together. I was actually thinking about going to Missoula earlier and going to their antique mall. They have a four story antique mall. Right, Carol Powers? <laughs> she likes it too. It's the one where I had a friend that found um, a calendar page from, I want to say it's like 19, I, I don't know, 53 or something. Anyway, it's Augustinelli's grocery store. And she called me and said, I see this at the antique mall in Missoula. Do you want me to get it for you? And I'm like, yeah. So got it, and then I made. Um, I had the. I took it to a printer, and he made copies for Mike's siblings and for our kids of this of this picture. It's it's just so cool. I have it hanging in our breakfast nook. Okay, those bad boys are going under there as well. Okay, cool. Well, there is some progress. Let's do an envelope just for variety. We'll do this envelope. So the big scissors that I had for fussy cutting bit the dust. And so I have my Tim Holtz ones up, up with my fussy cutting stuff. Um... I just, I'm using these titanium ones. They're not as friendly on my hands, but they do a good job still. So. This is a cute envelope and it fits those little journaling cards that were on the page with it. So these ones, I don't, if it's just on paper like this, I don't, um, I don't bother with scoring. I just kind of try and 
eyeball it straight and give it a squish. Okay. This one doesn't want to go straight. There we go, I think. Okay, and then this. And then Z-flap. Isn't that pretty? Look. Okay, I am going to, the way I usually distress, if I'd have been thinking, we could have put the, um, the, the back page, the writing page that I put on the back of all the journal pages, we could have put this, this, uh, this page on that, had that on the reverse side, and then this would have been patterned too, but didn't think of it until just now, so there you go. Yeah, um, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking I would like to go. To, I haven't been to that um, antique mall in forever. Like, it's been a long time. Jeez, I think last time I was there, I was babysitting my grandkids. Because my son and daughter-in-law were out of town. I think I told you that Mike's brother is coming to stay with us for a little bit for a few days and it, as it turns out my son has to work in Helena here and so yeah they're going to get to see each other which is fun okay so that's already to that we have a piece for our, we have a piece for our bucket let's see what else do we have that would be fun well it would be fun to do these two yeah I'm going to use those for sure as journal cards so I might as well back them right now then I'm just I'm really just going to have some little bits aren't I these two I probably back little small journal cards Go ahead and just gonna cut these out. They might fit on a side or something. All these little bits I'll cut out later. These are like kind of like oversized tea cards. <laughs> Okay, and then on this side. I love these. Grown-up people are awesome too. I love the little kids in this kit, but I really like the grown-ups too. Yeah, kind of all the prep for making the journal. I mean, I do have, I do have some pre-made ephemera, but I really like to include a lot of the, um, of the things from the kit too. You know. So. Okay, put those up there. Okay, so we have all four pieces ready to glue down. Get rid of the garbage. Okay. Another piece of 
coffee dyed paper. No, I like that better. Okay, so these can go right like that, right? Oh, it's not quite gonna fit. Oh well, that's okay. We'll use two different two different pages then. It's all right. No biggie deal. Again, I'll stick these under my mat. It's just a lot of area to use art glitter glue on, I feel like, so. Oops. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I think I'll stick them down low. It's a little easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay. There's that. Okay, and then let's do this one on a different, different piece. Okay. Oops. Knocked my cap off. I'm going to turn this over so it's maybe quite as gluey. Just match up the corners and that edge. Okay. And my little, these little things on this one, I'll just set them there. So what it's going to take us about an hour less because I did show you all the pages too to get all this stuff backed. So not bad. I mean, <laughs> when it's between that and ruining your printer, I guess the choice is easy, isn't it? <laughs> Yikes. I thought, oh no, am I completely ruining my printer? And I I don't think I did, so that's happy. Yeah, yeah, I figure if I kind of just went after lunch tomorrow, I could maybe, I could maybe just spend a little time at the antique mall. Mm-hmm. make a day of it, as it were. And yeah, I'll spend the night because Marin plays for both teams, so she wouldn't be done till like nine o'clock at night or later. So um, I don't want to drive home by myself at that time of night. So, so I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Okay, so here's these two. Okay, and then let's do these two too. Then I can put them under the mat. Got a stack of the sticker books behind me and often I put things under there to flatten out too. Okay, this is a big old scrap. Can go under there. Well, gotta take off this little bit. Such a handsome dude and beautiful girl. They're made for each other. Let's call her Eve. You know, get it? Christmas Eve. <laughs> and let's call him Christian. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, that's under there now. Okay, we'll cut these apart, and then I want to see what our first tags look like, and I'll show you how good a job that does, just popping them under your mat or under your sticker books, as the case may be. Okay, so those are done. The first tags we did are right here, and look at how nice and straight they are. Good. I'm going to put them back under there because why not? And let's do a time check. It's time to stop. Look at that. So, once again, my friends, go on over to Joey Cardmaker on Etsy and Kofi, and you can work along with me. That would be fun, right? So, Thank you, thank you, Joey, for once again sharing your amazing talents with us. I am super excited to make this journal. Here's our little cover, too. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.